pro-Palestine protests are intensifying in American universities. From Texas to Virginia, protests are raging on. Students have hit the streets, but so has the crackdown that has intensified. Their encampments are being broken. Protesters and cops are clashing in Texas specifically. Cops had to drag some of these protesters from the spot. This includes uh, students and professors. Now, these protesters had, the protesters had set up camps in university premises. Uh, they had created blockades and barriers as well. And remember at a time when United States of America had been giving lectures to India over democracy, freedom and protests, it's facing a very similar situation. In fact, a much worse crackdown can be seen by American authorities as they believe that law and order must prevail and must be maintained. Today at the University of Austin, there were huge protests organized by its students they were arguing to free Palestine, to free Gaza. They were shouting loud, free, free Palestine. Unfortunately, the students decided to build encampments in the center of the university's lawn, which is against the university's rules and procedures. The head of the university decided, therefore, to call for law enforcement officers they called for the texas state troopers they called for the austin police troopers they also called for the university guards so there were around hundreds of guards standing around the students who built tents in the center of the university the students were resisting the police so the police started to drag them out and the students were really aggressive. I have to say that my phone got cracked. One of the protesters, they punched me, they pushed me, my phone fell down and the other protesters stepped on it. it. It was really wild, I have to say. So the police got them all. They got around 50 students, but we will know the exact number later. I have to say that here behind me is the prison where the students are sitting. It is unclear how long they will be there and what charges there will be pressed against them but we should know later today or tomorrow you can also see the here gathering all these students and protesters they want them to be free they want to get them out and we will see how it is actually helpful again they are shouting free free palestine so we should know more information later today or tomorrow morning this is lenka white reporting for india today in texas austin so Lenka White telling us what precisely is unfolding at that American universities and not just one but across the country. What does it really mean for Biden in an election year? We'll be tracking that.